What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Phil Sarpon. This is Phil's Guide to PsyD. This channel is dedicated to all things clinical psychology. If you're interested in clinical psychology, if you're already in clinical psychology school, or if you're applying to clinical psychology, this is a channel for you. I give you my best tips and advice to get you through clinical psychology. So for today's topic, the question is, should you get a master's in clinical psychology or should you go for the doctorate? In clinical psychology and I know this is a very important question especially for people that are trying to figure out what career path they want to take in order to get to that clinical psychology degree so I'm gonna give you guys two things to think about when deciding between a clinical psychology master's degree or a clinical psychology PhD or PsyD degree and the first thing is cost cost is actually probably the most important thing for most people and I've talked about it in previous videos about how if you're going to go into a PhD clinical psychology program, most likely you're going to get a stipend, right? So it's going to be a longer program, but you're going to have a stipend every from year to year. So at the end of the program, you're most likely going to have way less student loans to pay off. And you're also going to be paid a doctoral salary, right? Now with the clinical psychology PsyD students, most of the time they do not get a stipend. And so they are accruing way more debt. They may finish faster than a PhD clinical psychology student, but they're not going to have a stipend every year. So they're going to be accruing way more debt that they're going to have to pay off over the long term of their career. Now, the great thing about clinical psychology master's programs is obviously they are only two year programs. So that means that you get done faster and you also get to pay off your student loans faster because you get done faster. Now, the only con with that is that you may not have the competitive pay, obviously, as or competitive salary as a clinical psychology doctoral student. And so that is the one caveat to really think about is that in the long term of things, you're not going to make as much. You're most likely not going to make as much money as a clinical psychology doctoral student, whether they're in the PsyD program or in a PhD program. So if you just want to go into clinical psychology, your master's program, just in terms of the time you want to do the two year program, you want to pay off the student loans faster, and you don't mind the salary that you're going to have, then a clinical psychology master's program might be the best thing for you. If you're not thinking about all the things that you're going to be restricted on, right? So the other thing, obviously, with clinical psychology master's programs is that not only is your salary going to be less than a, than a doctoral student, but you're also going to be restricted into ter in terms of what you can do. So you may not be able to, in, down the road, be able to teach in universities or teach in other doctoral programs. You may not be able to have a private practice. You're just going to have a more of a restricted career focus. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to get a job. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to find flexibility in terms of what you want to do with your clinical psychology master's degree. So that those are just some things to think about. It doesn't mean that you won't be able to find a job, but you may re be restricted in terms of the flexibility that you can do. With clinical psychology doctoral students, they can teach, they can do research, they can be therapists, obviously, they can also go into private practice. They can work in a number of different fields but with a master's program in clinical psychology, that might just be a little bit more difficult. So that is just something to think about in terms of the cost that you're putting in to get the two-year degree, the time that you're gonna have to pay off those student loans, but again, a lower salary as well as a restriction in terms of your career are just some things to focus on. The other thing, guys, is location, and this might be the most important thing I didn't realize this when I was even thinking about getting a clinical psychology master's degree or a PsyD degree, is that it really does also depend on your location and the state that you reside in. Some states restrict clinical psychology master's students so much. In fact, some states don't even allow clinical psychology master's students to practice unless they have a doctoral program. And so you're actually forced into getting a doctorate. You, you can't really do anything with a master's program in that state. You're actually going to have to get a doctorate. And so some states will also may restrict clinical psychology master's students from having their own private practice, 
from obviously working in other different fields or it may even require supervision. So even if you get a master's degree, you might have supervision for a duration of time even as you're practicing with the degree. And so what's really interesting about clinical psychology master's programs is that even after the two-year degree, you might have to do more training to get certified or even to get licensed, or it maybe even go through another two years of supervision before you can actually be independent. So that's something to think about because if you're gonna go through two years of school and then two years to get certified or get your licensure, then that turns into a four-year, basically a four-year program where the last two years you're not really paying any student loans. But still, right, it's like, do you go through that four-year span only getting a master's degree when you can go through the four-year span getting a doctoral degree? So those are just some things to think about if you're already going to get a master's degree but have to put in more work more hours just to solidify yourself as a professional, uh, that can destroy you from actually wanting to pursue the degree in the first place. So that's just something to think about to really focus in and figure out where your state has those guidelines in terms of the requirements that they have for clinical psychology master's students to be proficient professionals in terms of their field. So that's what it depends on guys, depends on cost, and it also depends on location. It depends on cost in terms of how much money you're willing to put in to get that clinical psychology master's degree or just in terms of location because some states might actually restrict you so much that you might as well just get a doctoral degree instead of the master's degree. In conclusion, guys, be careful when picking your clinical psychology master's degree program. It might be better for you to just get a different master's in some type of counseling service or degree. And what I mean by that is that there might be states where they will restrict clinical psychology master's students more than they will restrict, for example, someone that has a master's in social work or a master's in counseling, all right? The thing that you have to understand is that master's in counseling or a master's in social work they could be independent. They could actually do their own private practice. It might take them less amount of time to actually get licensed and certified. And they also may have just way more flexible job opportunities and career opportunities for their specific field. So a master's in social work and a master's in counseling might actually be better in some states than just a master's in clinical psychology because they won't have as many restrictions they're still gonna be able to have a number of different job opportunities that they can do. And they still only have the two year degree. So that is something to think about. If you're going to think about clinical psychology, it might be better for you to think about it in terms of the doctoral degree. But if you don't want to take that much time, you might look into masters in social work or masters in counseling degrees that have two year degrees, but you are gonna have a little bit more flexibility in terms of the job that you can get with those specific degrees. Those are just some things to think about. If you guys have any questions, definitely put it down in the comment section below. I hope this video helped you guys. With that, I will see you guys in the next video.